Ladies and gentlemen, today we're joined by Colin Gaston and Armour Khan from the Bomb Squad pod. And I just jump right in and be like, there's people out there <laughs> wiping their holes on face cloths. <laughs> well, I'm, hope, hopefully it is lucky, but it looks like a pack of eggs. Hopefully it is lucky, because I don't know if I locked the car, but... Um. <laughs> you know, like, whenever it's a hipster place, it has, like, gleaming buns? Oh, wow. Like, the buns are shiny. Bri- bri- brioche buns. Brioche, that's uh, the one, the gleamings. Gleaming buns. And, uh... <laughs> That's what they have to call them in the, um, quarter to one in the morning after that gig, just being like, there's sh** on that! Bring McCann. Bring McCann. But it's so funny if he was like, young Travis here has a tasty offer for you, and he goes, suck my d- <laughs> I was like, bro, these are Jordans, man. These are fresh out of the box. I put them on the car park like a dog. He changed his shoes in the car park. <laughs> bloopers of all time do you know the weird guy that's on like afterlife we Ricky gervais oh yeah yeah it's so funny where i still haven't seen season two though. Where he's like talking he's talking about like banging some woman to the the postman's just sitting there the guy was not joe wilkinson or something mm-hmm. just sitting there like trying to listen to the guy and he's like missionary 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 stop i'm bored turn around I need to see the ass <laughs> <laughs> the guys you just can't get through a take like at all Ah, uh, good show. Ah, uh, wow. Ah, uh, yeah, that's all right. <clears throat> anyway, are we ready? Yeah. Hello. Am I just trying to be epic, but nice. Bullshit. Good to see ya. Welcome back. It's the bomb squad. Oh. Get that bomb squad. Bomb squad episode fifty-six. Is he right? Got that? Yeah. Oh God, he's right. Uh, Aaron is here. He's fresh from the what's it called? U.S. consulate. <laughs> get you out of a cake, no boy. Huh? They get you out of a cake, no boy. Get me out of a cake. Ah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't know you see me. That's all right. <laughs> Not to learn, eh? You dirty freak. <laughs> so that's it. Months of worry. Uh, years gone in a second years of worry gone uh, you know today I was like I was like I had PTSD from last week because I obviously got up at half five and then realised at six o'clock that you know my appointment had been rescheduled so yeah. I went in the day I was kind of expecting the same thing I was like we'll hold fire till then got on the bus landed at the Europa bus depot took myself into the cafe for an old fucking cappuccino and a Portuguese nata <laughs> Anyhow, at that. No nerves about you. No. Still time for a Portuguese natta. Well, I had half the natta and then was like, fuck, sir, I need to be on my way. Oh, sorry. I'm, <laughs> all, I'm allergic to nattas. <laughs> so I uh, boofed half the natta and then uh, <laughs> walked out with a cappuccino and the other half of the natta, got into a taxi. Still had natta in my mouth as I was telling the guy where I needed to go. And then uh, he drove me down, got in. Bro, that place is clinical. It's very like, you know, you get in there, everyone's American. Hopped in the taxi with a mouthful of nada. Accidental Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have one of these? Abscess pies? Yeah! yeah. Nice. Very tasty. Goopy. Nice. Goopy. Goopy and tasty. Yeah. And uh, guy drove me down, got out. And again, everyone everyone is American. So immediately you're like, oh, this feels very surreal. And then you get in there. The room that they have you waiting in is like pure white. No pressure. Mm. So I'd immediately sent worry down me. No clock. So, you know, you're totally taken out of... Sensory deprivation. Yeah, completely. You can't push or tell the time. You give your phone at the very front. Oh, you God. give any electronic devices you've got in you. You throw all those out, you know. And then they give you a wee visitor pass. You hang out around your neck and you sit there and you wait your turn. And uh, I went up to the girl and uh, she was like, oh, this passport's in bad neck. Mm. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. Too many nights out. Too many nights out, you know. I don't have a driver's license. Maybe an ID. So then she was just like, have you got another passport on you? And I was like, I actually do. I have the Brat one. Yeah. Because I'm June. And uh, so she was like, ah, this is a bit better. Then you just wait, sir. And you're waiting for like 40 minutes. And this place was packed today. Like there was like six Asian dudes in there, dropped out. Mm. Babe and Ape, a lot of Babe and Ape on display today. You know? That's their version. You know, they'll put on something smart. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. their version of Super today. 1,500 pound coat. 100%. Yeah. Multiple subs. Yeah. Never seen more jobs. Uh, unnecessary pockets. I'm sitting there counting the zips to distract myself, and then eventually I got a you know announcement over the thing. Aaron McCann. Yeah. I was like, oh fuck, this is it. And you've pissed everywhere. I had my lucky stone on me. 
Yeah. They log on my lucky stone. Have you, you still got, got it? it? It's in my jacket in uh, the car. Get it. Oh. I've got the presentation case. Well, I'm, hope, hopefully it is lucky because I'm a pack of fags. <laughs> hopefully it is lucky because I don't know if I locked the car, but um, <laughs> authentic Blarney luck stone. Yeah. This piece of the Blarney. Was it wrapped in this for safety? Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Local tradition in Blarney identifies a limestone quarry on Starch Hill in the townland of Killard. Killard? Killard? Uh, as the source of stone used in Blarney Castle, including the Blarney Stone. So it's the same stone as the Blarney Stone? I don't know if it's like actual Blarney. You know? It's not 100%. Could be Blarney replica. It's not authentic Blarn. Don't know if it's 100% Blarn. Did you kiss it? You have to kiss it. I wonder. Uh, is that the sort of thing you might, if you accidentally pulled that out in front of them, would they be like, do you have a carer going with you to America? <laughs> you know, they're like, attention, um, you know, what do you call them? Uh, Armican has, uh, is a lunatic. 10-4, we've got a guy in here, kissing a stone. 10-4, uh, our candidate here has a stone in his pocket. Look at that guy kissing the blarn. Could it be? Could it be? He claims it's witchcraft. <laughs> Get him out of the country. Well, sorry, I never seen on like it. This interview sent my house full finion. Mount the candles that were lit. Oh yeah. Lock stones. Yeah. You know it comes out the odd time now. Oh yeah. You know most of the time they're sort of coasting by. Fair it. weather religion. Anyway, they call me in the interview room, and I walk and in. You're like, <laughs> Sorry, my intrusive thoughts would get to me. So I walk in and. Uh, you know, you, well, that's exactly it. You kind of do want to reference, like, how weird it is, yeah. you know? So I, like, walked in, and, you know, I'm watching people walk out, and some people were, like, holding their excitement because they just got told that they got it. So yeah. they're like... And then one guy walked out. This was pretty funny. The whole time, it's, like, quiet. And then there was, like, a group of lads together, and, like, one of them got called up, um, and he was this, like, Indian fella, and he, like, walked out, and he, like, pointed at the rest of the boys and was like... See you in America. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the wine here pissed. <laughs> so, so I had no one there. Like, I had no one to announce it to. So I just, like, walked in, and then I immediately see the guy, and I'm, like, sizing him up. I'm, like, all right. He's, like, probably looks like late 30s, American dude. And he goes, hey, man. And I was, like, oh, he's one for a man. It's very informal. Yeah. And I was, like, this yeah. should hopefully be okay. Yeah. You took, then, a, you took a button out? Yeah, so over on man term, sorry. so he goes uh, yeah so what's your reason for visiting the United States and I was like oh I'm a comedian and I've just been gigging here for a while and just always wanted to go to America to do stand up you know some of my favourite comics are American and all this here and he's like like who and I was like well you know like uh, Bill Burr Shane Gillis you know and then I was gonna throw in like a rogue one just for the crack, just be like Hannah Gadsby. <laughs> 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 and, and then uh, he goes, Okay, okay. And uh, he's like, uh, He goes, So you're a comedian, huh? And I was like, Yeah. And he's going through all the paperwork at all, and he's looking at everyone. And he's like, Okay, it looks like you got everything in order. And then he goes, So what kind of comedy do you do? And I was like, Oh, like I just like tell stories and stuff, you know, yeah. just like mostly stories, mostly stories, just like wee stories here and there. And he goes, "You want to do a bit for me right now?" <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, oh, I can't do that, can I?" <laughs> you know. And he just goes, "Yeah, go ahead, do yeah. a bit right now. Get on the table." And I was like, "It doesn't." Really. And he goes, "I'm just messing with you, man." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh fuck!" You're gripping that Blarney stone. <laughs> I was about to bust right into it. So black people. <laughs> <laughs> You're me fucking a girl from behind and uh, ordering a pizza at the same time. Good bit. Good bit. That sounds like a Bernie Mac ghost right? Yeah. You be fucking a girl ordering a pizza at the same time. Did you see that clip I sent you earlier? It was like Bernie vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So you're in America. You're in the America. Did you wear your Irish green shirt too, just for the crack. I, well, I mean, my this, I've been styled today by Rebecca McCann. Yeah. This was, you know, I originally put together an outfit, and she was like, "Get, get a good shirt on you for fuck's sake. Get a good shirt on you." Yeah. She let you leave the house with the Yeezys. Hey, what if, if she'd have seen the rest of the place? Not a lot of drip going on, like. No, apart from besides, the, besides the, the Bay of Nett boys. boys, yeah, the Bay of Nett boys the came Bay in strong, like. You know. Imagine the guy just took a look at your Yeezys and was like, "Nazi." No Nazis in America, <laughs> I'm afraid. Favorite. What's your problem with the Jewish community? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, listen, I enjoy the drip. Yeah. 
It's a, it's a timeless show. I can separate the drip from the artist. Yeah, you know? that's, a, that's what I'm saying. The Indian fellas, as soon as they got out, immediately rolled up a bind outside it. Outside yeah. the US consulate sign, smoked the bind, took pictures of each other. I offered to take a photo of the three of them. And then they were all, I, I was like, put the camera sideways. Like that, and I was like, all right, boys, three, two, one. And one of them, as soon as I said one, just that I had a ghastly I'd puff of smoke out of him. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, that looks sick, bro. <laughs> Success. That looks fucking great out there. That's the American dream right there. You Big know what I got? <laughs> Rolling up a rolly right outside of it. It was great. But yeah, very fun. I'm just glad it's over, to be honest. So am I. I think I, I, I could sense it was getting to you. Yeah. Over the last while. Yeah. I Distracted. Was I was. Distracted. I was. Yeah. And that's why I was a lot more compassionate to you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Back to <laughs> you know what I'm like. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Yeah, you're an empath. <laughs> yeah, I'm an empath. <laughs> you feel it as hard as I do. You you're, know? Yeah, I was, I was losing sleep. I was up. I was up at five this morning, day eating toast. Yeah, but watch. I was eating sympathy toast for you. It's for my cam. No, it was more like you going on wild nerves about this. week going fuck up, will you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the fucking idiots? They give visas to. Just go in there and fucking no, show. No, but you never know, and they, they make it so like a lot of it is intimidation too. Like even the layer of that room, I was like, like "What are your plans in America?" <laughs> yeah, look out, man. Be on edge. Look out, man. Look out, man. Um, but yeah, yeah thank fuck. Now I we celebrated by celebrated by going like a, much like the Indian boys went to Crichton's and got a sandwich. And that was it. Yeah. That's it. That's real life. Back to real life. Yeah, got a full breakfast baguette. You're you're in party mode, and you get in the car, and I was like, "The fucking brake pads are in this jeep." Speaking of party mode, can I take a stuff? <laughs> Folks, sorry to interrupt you, but if you're having a good time in this week's episode and you want more of this, go on ahead over to patreon.com forward slash bomb squad. Pod. The bomb squad pod. The bomb squad pod. Patreon.com forward slash the bomb squad pod for fifty six bonus episodes. You couldn't beat it. Couldn't beat it. It's like a drum on both sides. Come better. <laughs> a nice warm Stella. There we go, boys. I've had quite a week. We had our live podcast in Derry, and I'll I'll send this out as a warning shot to the rest of the the venues. You better fucking step your game up. Let me tell you something. What a gift. Derry was uh, fucking incredible. Not without its issues, you know. All these live podcasts. There's always something. There's always like some tech. Ah, there's always some tech going like, oh, we don't know how to hook this up or. Home of the brave. We forgot the we forgot this sign pad. Real bad man. And I, that was scary. I had the I was just like, oh, we'll do it without it. And then you know, after the podcast, once we managed to track one down, which we'll no doubt pay fifteen hundred pound rental for. Um, <laughs> you know, it was it was well worth it. Yeah. You know, it was well worth it. You know, when someone would heckle and I would go, shut up, bitch. You oh, can't buy you can't yeah. buy that sort of banter. <laughs> Now, what does a tw- half eleven in the morning Stella feel like? Fucking victory. Victory. It's like freedom. Oh, <laughs> we get to go and throw that Blarney Stone in the river now. <laughs> Kiss it and throw this it in is the my river. Blarney Stone. Is that, that's in Saltburn, isn't it? Every time someone dies, they fuck one. The... I still haven't seen that. Yeah, the, the whole family gets wiped out and they write their name on a stone and throw it in the river. That's how they deal with their problems. Nice. And they were like, well, it was nice knowing you. Plonk. How'd you go? Uh, are they still good? Did yeah, you... December 2024. Oh, got some shelf life there. Stella Artois. Yeah. Our toys. Warm? Weirdly, no. Ah, it is cold in there. Tyler? I know, Aiden. Anyway, the boys were in Derry. Uh, it was great times. Ordered some pizza. That arrived. Showed the Mina Minas. Showed the Mina Mina. Uh, they didn't take money off Aaron, and they they walked on. And you, you're just such a nice boy. You rang them back. And you're like, sir. You couldn't, you couldn't do that, sir. You didn't take money off me. Niall vlogged the whole thing too, so it's gonna look like uncut gems. Just the hecticness of it. Uncut pies. Yeah, <laughs> I was ringing up. I was like, I was. Here's my still. <laughs> still good. Because it was Ian that came up. Ian came up with the pizzas. Yeah, and I was like, "How'd you pay for that?" And I was like, "Did you pay for that?" And he goes, "No." And he just walked on. And I was like, "What? He hasn't been paid." So then I went down and like rang up the guy. The You're guy, like, "There's 53 peas worth of dough down the drain. Yeah. You don't get the money for this." It seemed like, uh, you know, it was having a while. There's a wild stink of gans right there. Was, there. Yeah. there was a smell of reefer. Yeah. But the gig was outstanding. The gig was 10 out of 10. Like, oh. so much fun. It was like, it, we might as well have been sitting in here. It was so chill. Yeah. But so funny. Audience were great. Audience were great. You know. Man. Yeah, I just hope, like, it was like we were saying, the bar is high now. You know, I hope the yeah. rest of them are as good. Belfast, step your game up. Mm-hmm. 
Stop your motherfucking game up. But we had we had quite the week. Um, we were on Ireland AM. Yeah. I had a gig in Dundalk. Shout out to the people of Dundalk. <laughs> a lot of that going on. Uh, <laughs> went down to Dundalk. Did my second show there. Great, but you fell in love with the place. You were chatting to the staff. You were out chatting to the locals. Oh, yeah. You were looking up Zipla, see if yeah. you could buy a house beside it. You know what I like about the place is that I've had a fella that I've been doing tech there since 1999. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, guys like that, they have stories. They, ha- they have all the experience. Mm-hmm. It just it puts your nerves at ease a wee bit, I think, yeah. when the tech is that savvy. Yeah. <laughs> tech you know. savvy. Yeah, he's been around. He's been around the block. Went in there. We got absolutely honey dicked by uh, Deliver or oh, Just Date. I was looking through all these places, like pizza places, and one of the, the other fella, Evan, the tech, he, uh, you know, he got an Indian, and I was like, oh, that looks good. Don't know if I want a full fucking boner before I go on stage here. So we found this place. I'm not going to mention it, but <laughs> it had a real hipster name, and the pictures were like lifted off somebody else's we got catfish by just eight yeah literally because the burgers looked like hipster burgers on like the banner yeah. so it looked like real clean you know, like, like sort of you know, like korean fried chicken and a brioche bun in a paper thing in a wee thing and then it arrived just a chippy yeah just a fucking old chippy because the pictures were like like the bun you know like whenever it's a hipster place it has like gleaming buns oh, wow. like the buns br- 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 brioche buns brioche that's uh, the one the gleamings gleaming buns and uh <laughs> <laughs> That's what they have to call him in Oma. Because no one fucking speaks French. Briach! Fuck off! Gleaming buns. Guess a gleaming bat. And yeah, Kim, it was just regular chip meat, which you know wasn't the worst, but like they, they give you literally like a kilo of chips. Like. Yeah, it was gross. It was literally just getting a chicken burger out of a chippy. Yeah. In that wee hot room. Uh, it was hot on stage, man. I had fucking gleaming yeah, buns. I'll tell you that. Like, my <laughs> buns were gleaming. <laughs> gleaming up there. And. Uh, you know, a lot sort of, like the crowd the week before were a lot crazier. And this week there were a lot more people like, seemed like it would go, I oh, will go see this. Yeah. You know, four nurses down the front. Nice ladies. I was speaking to them. They were, got the fear. She was like, I'm a nurse. I don't want you to slag me. And I was like, why would I slag you for being a nurse? Yeah. And then she goes, I'm a stroke nurse. And I was like, oh, why? <laughs> stroke this cock. <laughs> and they all got their coats and left. But then this is this was the, this was the, uh, the deal. So we had to go from Dundalk because we were on Ireland AM on Virgin Media the next morning. So I thought in my head, we'll go to Dundalk. <laughs> we'll do the gig. We'll drive down to Dublin. Stay in Dublin. We're seven minutes away from the studios. We'll just get up in the morning, throw on us, head over the road. Be there early. No worries. You know, £500 down. But sure, here we are. And uh, got up in the morning. All good. Oh, but I will tell you this. The evening of, <laughs> landed in. I thought, you know, I'm going to lay out my fucking boxers and my socks and my trousers and my <laughs> jumper and I'm gonna, I need to shave my head. I'll shave my head in the bog here and shave my head, fully belly bollocks, you know what I mean? Fully nude and uh, shaving my head out of my body here. Shave my head, sink and, you know, like water and hair all over the place. <laughs> That's right. And I, my phone's like sitting on two, you know, two of the wee complimentary cups that there are in the bathroom for no reason as if you're going to be you know, sipping away at the, the bathroom top. Set it there. Or no, my phone was there and I went and there was like a folded up face cloth and I went, right, I'm going to wipe that. And I so, like, I literally picked it up for a split second to like unfurl it, dropped it, went like this, put my phone back and then went to grab the cloth again. And I was like, I was like, what's that there? What's that on that? And I was like, I was like, what is, is that like rust or something off the fucking, <laughs> off the razor or something? What is that? And then I opened it up a bit and I was like, that's shit, bro. <laughs> That's shit on the face cloth. Now, Seconds fuck, away from using it. No, I was I was only gonna like wipe the the water up from the rest of the sink. Like, don't really use a face cloth. But I was just like, bro, that's shit on that. <laughs> That is shit, and, and I'm sta- I'm standing there with like shaving foam like round the back of my head, and no clothes on at like fucking quarter to one in the morning after that gig, just being like, there's shit on that. <laughs> Someone has like went to check out and just went, right, have you got your bags and all sweet? Oh, one more thing. And just went like, and just jammed it up. So funny to do one clean line up your hole with a face cloth, like. Yeah. Mental. And it was, you know, it was, it was, you know, on, I say on closer inspection, it was under a light, you know, yeah, you looking at it from rust. here. It yeah. was real, you know, someone's jammed it. Someone's jammed it in there. Yeah, they stink, went right to the dot. Right to the dot and then just folded it over again. And then I'm standing, I was getting in the shower anyway, but like, 
I was trying to explain to you, you know, like when a when a like wasp lands on you and you're just itchy for like the next hour. I all I could smell was shit, and I couldn't even, <laughs> but I couldn't even smell shit uh, from it. Yeah, but it was definitely shit. Yeah, but all uh, the whole time was out of the shower. I was like, I was like, what else got shit on it? the fucking door handle? Ever, has everything just got <laughs> shit on it? And then I got to checking, was checking the bed and checking the towels. Of like, well, course. I was like, someone's had everything in their ass in this room. So funny. Was, you could have got a, you could have got a return there, probably. You know. I but who who they got? Because I had to just like go, oh fuck, and then like, <laughs> what part of and the then fucking manual? And, and then like? I just threw it in the bin. Uh, and then someone's gonna like empty that that bin in the bathroom and be like, oh, that's the last tenant. What was his name? Yeah, Col- they're gonna Col- think Col- it was you. Has wiped the shit <laughs> on it. And the thing was, I did I did just drop an absolute pile. Yes. Before she had made Yeah, it. but you never think to wipe your ass with a face cloth. No, there's plenty of toilet roll there. Yeah. I'm getting in the shower anyway. Yeah. Ask the, or shit the shower. But someone had, you know, for a joke, just wiped their stink on the fucking... Just built different, like, you know? Just built different. But I was I was checking the beds, checking the tiles, checking everything. It actually unsettled me, but I couldn't really sleep. <laughs> I would say fine shit the face cloth would probably ruin your experience in the hotel. I mean, yeah. God, for, thank God I was only going to, like, wipe up the... The work top. Oh, thank God! I, was, See, I wasn't going to be like thought. doing my, you know, <laughs> doing my fucking. Night you'd have cancelled. You'd have cancelled the whole thing. I know. I don't. We'd have went on to the Ireland AM, and they would have went, ladies and gentlemen, today we're joined by Colin Guest and Armacan from the Bomb Squad Pod, and I just jump right in and be like, "There's people out there <laughs> wiping their holes on face cloths." <laughs> also, you got the suite room. She was like, "Oh, you're on the ground floor, around the corner here," and she goes, "You go up to the fourth floor and like take a sharp right and then walk for a mile." It was like I. Had, like you were probably in two wanks bed sleep. Yeah, but I, I got to my room. Like I, I put on Vanderpump rules and I had a bag of uh, sensation. Thai sensations. Oh yeah, and I was down to the boxers. What's, Didn't take them off. Like what's the just... sensation? Heartburn, <laughs> <laughs> rotten teeth, uh, <laughs> musty breath. I was laying in bed eating them, watching Vanderpump rules, just being like, "What is this show?" And then I like oh. forgot that I was on the ground floor. Yeah. And I could just see out of the corner of my eye, like someone like walking. And I looked around, someone was like walking literally outside the window, me in the bed, eating the sensations. And I got up, fucking immediately closed the curtains. I was like, Jesus Christ. You just land there like a fucking. They definitely seen me. Like, they just, definitely just seen flopped me. out. And then I had to, I don't know if your room was the same loud, but the bed on the right, uh-huh. I was on it and I could see myself in the mirror. Yeah. And I was like, I don't need that. So I switched to the left bed. Did you cover it up like it was a wake? What do you mean? Do people not cover mirrors during a wake or something? Oh, right. <laughs> when did they do that? The devil or something. I don't know. <laughs> Some sort of demons. <laughs> you know what they're like? I have no idea. Or is it the TV? They do something anyway. It was being decent to be watching like Hell's Kitchen in a week. But anyway. Uh, yeah. So anyway, that's that's one part of the story. We get up. In my head, I'm like, you know, we're seven minutes away. What could go wrong? You know, eight o'clock in the morning in Dublin. Trafficy. You know, congested. So I take off. We go up to the up the road, take a left on the like a sort of curved road, like a slip, and I go round there, and it's you know like five lanes wide, and the Google Maps is like lagging like a motherfucker, so it was going like yeah, just stay in this lane, and then as I followed it round, it went like I'm only joking that one, <laughs> and I'm like we're in the wrong fucking thing here, and then it's like oh you're on the whatever northbound, and I'm like oh my god, and the time just went like. Shut up, like, 15 minutes. Just, like, 35 minutes or something. And I'm like, are you fucking joking me? And we left at, like, we were supposed to be there for half eight, so we left at quarter past. Didn't get to the studio to, like, five past. Had to go the whole way up the motorway, do the big fucking spaghetti junction thing there at the airport, back down. And then the same thing happened again. It was going up here, and it just went, like, Oh, you're on the wrong road. And I was like, fucking work. But that was fucked because the second time the I was wrong in, turn was stuck. Uh, it's got the wee white arrow on the correct lane. And yeah. I'm like, I'm in the fucking lane. Like. And then he turned to me and goes, can you imagine if it fucked up again? It said, oh, you have to get into that one. And then exactly that happened. Yeah. Like right on you saying and that. By the way, this is Dublin. So there's no like, you can't pop a fucking U. You can't, there's no like, every, every junction we came to was like no right turn. So I couldn't just turn and go back the way. No, you could not. So I had to just keep following this bastard road r- till it went in a giant loop and then they yeah. were ringing. And I was, I was furious, you know, I was like, don't ring me. Why ring me? Ring him. You know what I mean? Ring him. I'm trying to answer the phone. Hi, it's Anna from such and such. And I'm like, Anna, I fucking hang up. I can't see the bastard map. I'll be there. No, I'm also an empath. I, you know, I was like, he's like, I'll, do you know I'll, what, do you know what Colin needs right now? Me to play schoolboy Q. Yeah. on the radio. <laughs> 
I was like, I'll lay off the questions for like, 20 months. I'll lay off the questions. What's your favorite school like? <laughs> What's your favorite Portuguese bomb? <laughs> <laughs> and then we got there and fucking, you know, straight in. Guard comes out with the powder. Yeah. Puts that on. Beautiful tap water. 10 out of 10 tap water. It was a water machine. It was great. He turns around and he goes, tell you what, some water down here. And she's like, <laughs> she's got the, you know, she's listening to the live show. She's like, what? <laughs> he goes, this is real. This is really tasty water. And she's like, we're on live TV, you fucking idiot. Shut up. And then we and then we just go. And by the way, like, you know, the magic of TV, the, the girl was saying like, you know, oh, the production, the production on, the, on these things. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's the same as what you've got in here. Same thing. You know, it looks like a brick wall. Walk around the back. Bin bags, no? Yeah. That's like trash. IKEA vibes. IKEA vibes, yeah, yeah. IKEA vibes, yeah. But they, 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 I mean, talk about professionalism. Yeah. You know, they come over and they're chatting away and swearing and all. Oh, they were great? Oh, it was fucking class and all. And oh, my God, oh, these are flying. And Bert Kreischer give you a shot. It's fucking wild and all. And the clock's just ticking down. And then they just, you said you seen her do a face. Yeah, they're like. Yeah, they just. But down to the second, like they're so good at it, they're like, yeah, that's fucking wild. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> like, guys, welcome back to, you know, they're just like straight into it. Yeah. Tommy Bow. Peace. Sexy, man. Absolute peace. Sexy. I was saying to you, like the size of professional rugby players, because when you watch them play, you just look like a wee dainty winger. And you see him in person, <laughs> unit. Yeah. Absolute unit. Oh, yeah. Had a unit in my pants. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You she, were checking out his watch, no? Checking out his watch. Yeah. You know? Trying on a shirt. It's good though, but uh, people were saying they thought the uh, girl had a bit of a thing for you. No, oh no. She kept. She'd be like, "Where did the bomb squad name come from?" And I talk, and she'd be like, "Yeah, shut up, <laughs> shut up, you baldy." <laughs> Let me speak to this young piece of ass. But the boys were li- the boys were fucking lounging like we see. We didn't see the fucking the body language here. Oh, that. Of course, they played that clip where I'm wearing it. Look at the boys lounging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want a bit of fucking real estate a- eaten up by our asses? Well, we were also, you know, placed there by a fella coming through the microphone and stuff. He's like, you sit there, Cub. You sit there. Yeah. You know? Well, it was good times, you know, and not, something we're not used to at all, which is swift questioning and then away. Yeah. You know? It was like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Like, we, we you could have talked for hours there. Yeah. Well, they were so sound, like, you know, because I was kind of like, you know, you do be a bit nervous going into the unknown like that. I was like, what is this going to be? Like, what are they going to ask? Or like, you know, but now they were sound. Sound as fuck. It's good crack. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hopefully, I mean, this is the thing. Like, they were, they were talking about you've got a Liberty Hall gig. And I was like, yeah, sold out. Yeah. Like, don't know why I'm here. Don't know why I fucking rushed here, like Fast and the Furious 12. With Google Maps giving me shit. Yeah. But here we are, TV superstars. That's it. That's it. There'll be at least three housewives coming to our gig. I'm telling you. After my, after that performance. My family WhatsApp group chat was popping off. You know, friends of the sisters sending pictures of us. Yeah. You know? What'd they say? Like, Jesus, would you not put a bit of makeup on, on the town? <laughs> Them two were caked. Oh, yeah. They got the full works. I'm pre- now that I look at that, I'm pretty pink, like. Pretty pink? Yeah, there's only so much yeah. you can do with powder. Yeah, I need like the girl. We were trying to have banter with them. They weren't. We we're having none of it. She came out with the powder, and I was like, "I do his face first and see if there's any left for mine." Yeah, the big head joke. She yeah, yeah, she's not she in got with it. She's, she, no, she's she, not in with us. She did give a wee like vibrate laugh. <laughs> and it's the, yeah, one of those, <laughs> you know. And then she was putting it on me, and I was like, "Man, this makes me so sleepy and horny." You didn't say that, did you? No, I said sleep. All right. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, what? Oh, the funny, the fun thing about makeup is I get so hard when people do this. <laughs> <laughs> people were giving us jib because we didn't wear the outfits that's a good way to get out of anything yeah you're walking down the street you got one of those charity muggers do you have a few minutes to speak about it? the thing about talking about charity is I get so erect yeah and they'll be like oh on you go yeah or just the BGD brush I'll be like sorry I'm hard is it? just walk on <laughs> oh used to be a bit of mine yeah what well, sorry I'm hard sorry I'm going to throw up <laughs> excuse me I've got diarrhea <laughs> would you like to stop and donate money to a snow lab shut up yeah I'm about to shit. Yeah. I had to shit when oh. we were on that. And then the nerves made it go away. Yeah, we were backstage and they're like, oh, you guys ready in a couple of seconds? And we're like, yeah, absolutely. And she turns away and you're like, I need a shit really bad. <laughs> and I was like, surprise, surprise. Yeah, <laughs> you had to lip read me because I was like, I, I didn't, yeah. Didn't need much lip read. Did you hard day in it? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to shit my pants. <laughs> Must be the good water. Oh, hey. 
<laughs> one for you. Are you faded off the Artois yet? No, but I'd say two. I'd be feeling rightly, rightly merry. Rightly merry. Eight pish stops on the way back. To oh, yeah, right time. yeah. That bus one was going to be a nightmare. Boy, I'm, boy, I need a pish. I saw a guy taking a pish in the motorway the other day, like, uh, just at, at a bridge. He just stopped at the bridge and hopped out and ran around the back of the bridge and faced up. The, well, you're fucked either way. He was, if he was facing traffic, everyone would say his dong. Yeah, you can't do it. But I immediately, like, you know, you drive past, you go, this guy's taking a piss. See his dick from the back. You see it? You see the piss? Yeah, I seen the flowing. You know, I was in the mirror, like I seen the yeah, I seen the silhouette, <laughs> the deck silhouette. Not that silhouette, but you know, the, you know, you definitely see like jumper flesh. Yes, <laughs> you know pubes. How Pu- do you feel when you push outside? Is that right? It usually feels great. To be fair, yeah. Well, it's usually you really need it. Yeah, I don't take like sport. you're not willy nilly piss. Don't take like a sport piss outside. No, no, no. It's usually your Boston. Let Eddie have a piss outside the other day. Loves it. Loves it. Yeah. But he's far too, he, you know, like, you know, at a certain age, you start to pay attention to the direct, where it's going. He just fucked it. You know what I mean? That guy just. That's a problem. All over the shoes, all over everything. Yeah. Not looking at all. Yeah. He's just like, this is what happens. I haven't had one of them in years right now. An outside pish? No, like a, like a free flow pish. Oh, yeah. You know? like we just just like, put your hands behind your back. See where it goes. <laughs> yeah. You know? Hands behind the back's bold. Hands behind the back's a lot. At attention. Trousers at the, at the fucking feet. Yeah. Hands behind the back. See what happens. Yeah, we'll keep drinking. You know? <laughs> keep drinking. We'll have to pull up outside Craig Allen. <laughs> you just imagine. Imagine you got arrested for pissing. You had your hands behind your back. Like, oh. Yeah. Emptying the loot with my two hands behind my back. Oh. Nice. It's funny that I wrote shit cloth as a note there. What, is it, what does that say? Oh, AI, did you? Oh. How yeah. did you read that upside down? I couldn't even read it front way. Uh, I was, we were doing a gig in Monaghan. Well, I was actually, Ronan Boyle was doing a gig in Monaghan and he was on the phone with me the day after the millennium. See how it went. I was telling the bars, telling the crack, was like, what are you at tonight? And he's like, oh, sir, I'm doing this gig in Monaghan. It's, a, it's the first night of a new comedy club. Willie T's headlining. I was like, you know what, Ty? I was going to head down and watch for the crack. Because uh, he offered, he was like, do you want me to scoop me and come on down? I was like, fuck you, yeah, let's do it. So went down, place called The Squealing Pig right. in Monaghan. But the name of the comedy club was Nunchuck's Comedy. Which, you know, I feel like Squealing Pig is a great name. Squealing Pig's a good one. The Squealing Pig Comedy Club. Yeah. So we go down and uh, staff, very hostable. Hostable. Very hospital. Hostable. Nothing better than hospital hostable. staff. Hostable. Uh, it's very nice. Hospitable. You know, as soon as I walked in, they're like, do you want a feed? Do you want anything to eat? You know, you want a drink? Took a few drinks. You didn't take a feed? No, I didn't take a feed. Oh, it's not like Didn't take though. a feed. I know that wasn't... Wasn't right from main frame front, and then afterwards they were like, or the guy that was running it was like, "Do you want to do a spot?" And I was like, "Yeah, fucking, I'll up on whatever, like five. And he goes, "Do you want to even do ten? I was like, "Yeah, fuck, I'll do ten. Yeah. So, why not? <laughs> Did ten, and it was just really nice. It was a really nice room. Yeah, felt like a lot of fun. And then me, we were all heading back down the road. A boy goes to me. He's like, "I was like, is this your playlist, boy? Because the playlist was all over the place, right? And I was just like, I feel like he didn't." create this this could be like his wife's place or something and he goes no sir i got one of them uh ai djs <laughs> and i was like well like a playlist because no no sir it's like you know you play a song and then the thing kind of djs and it says what tunes you'd like if you like that tune you know <laughs> and i was like so like the radio feature in spotify he goes yeah. no no it's an app like ai dj <laughs> and the ai dj played Think Kesha. I, think how little brain cells is gonna have when I smack ahead of him. <laughs> the AI DJ played Kesha, followed by Britney Spears, followed by Ariana Grande, and I was like, "Boy, I think this AI DJ thinks you're gay." <laughs> 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 it was like three like teen pop princess heads after each other. <laughs> 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 That's so. What did you see? Forty seven. Don't know. That's our boy there. Yeah. Hey, it's AI DJ. I play a song, and there's a computer in there <laughs> that suggests similar songs uh, that would that would flow together well in the same genre. Uh, it suggests them, and it shuffles them. It shuffles them up so you don't. You're, it keeps you guessing. Yeah. <laughs> and Can't you're like, me guess. what's the AI DJ called? <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> Spotify? <laughs> AI DJ. 
AI DJ. AI DJ. Does, and I, I said, you, does it mix them? Does it mix the songs? No. No? <laughs> it's just a fucking playlist. Cold start for every song. <laughs> That's similar to, you know, that's uh, actual sort of old boy doting there. And I I did the reverse, like, millennial thickness, where I was, I talked about a few weeks ago, where I was like, wouldn't it be class if instead of having to go to the shop to buy milk all the time, like, a guy just brought it round. This is another million pound idea. But it's, milkman? But it is a milkman. But it, yeah, I, I did it the opposite way. Where I was like, imagine this very old, old school thing that used to actually happen. Comes back? Yeah. Yeah. This is a paid advertisement from our good friends at Better Help Therapy Online. We've all got things that are weighing us down and can negatively affect us. With uh, Better Help, we're able to use it as a resource to actually talk openly about the things that might be weighing us down or stressing us out. Therapy is a great way to yeah, get things off your chest. You've been to therapy, I've been to therapy. It's great to just uh, unload those problems on someone else for a second. You know, you, sometimes you feel better just doing that even, you know. Um, you will also learn different coping skills and how to set boundaries. It helps you be the best version of yourself. It's not always just for people who have been through trauma and things like that. What I love about BetterHelp is just how easy it is. You know, you go onto the website, you fill out a questionnaire, they'll match you with a therapist and they work around your schedule. Yeah, you don't have to leave the house. You pick a time that, that suits you. Exactly. And you can do your session when it suits you, basically. Yeah. With over 1,000 therapists in the UK already, BetterHelp can provide access to mental health professionals with a wide variety of expertise in mental health. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash BSP. That's better, H-E-L-P.com slash BSP for Bomb Squad Pod. The milk band should make a return. Yeah. I feel like I might like do the shop all flat out. But they could do it where you like pre-order, you know, maybe you get like a, like a chocolate one the odd time as well. Or like a strawberry. I hear like, see when you pop around tomorrow? Yeah. Drop a strawberry. Milk in there. man comes around with a six pack, real pack of mix. Oh. Flavoured milk, so I'd like that. Slapping it in there. Yeah. Yeah, be horny. Probably tastes better. There's probably some placebo effect here where it tastes better than one of them like glass bottles. Oh, for sure. You, know, you swirl about a bit of milk. Take Maybe it out of a glass take bottle. A, just take a foil off and down it. Yeah, it's like Coca Cola. Yeah. You know, tastes better out of a glass bottle. It's true. It's true. It's almost it's like we've landed on some marketing genius there. Yeah. Is that Donard in there slapping them pants? I don't know. Fierce, might just, they might just be watching videos for me from Saturday. <laughs> Dave came boxing on Saturday. Nice, you enjoy it? It's great, isn't it? It's, it's really fun. fucking good. Punching the fuck out of them bags. And then, you know, put it online, get dogs abuse. From people. Comes to the territory. Yeah. Someone wrote under my video, which I put up, you know, as a favour to them, to be like, cheers for letting us train. Someone tagged Tyrone McKenna and went, ah, do you remember he said he could hit harder than you? As if to be like, look at the state of this. I stand by it. I stand by it. You're doubling down? It'd take two business days to hit you in the face, but when it does... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm saying that second class, but here. <laughs> I'm saying that second class, but would it fucking crash through your door? Second class sketch, it still hurt me. <laughs> yeah. Snail mail? Yeah, I don't think it matters. Ah, that's what I'm saying. First connects the face. It's Although over. Tommy mm -hmm. suggested one day, he's like, uh, why don't we... Do we Patreon video or something where uh, me and me and Tyrone actually go to one of them punch machines? Oh no, yeah, that'd and be smack it. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. That would be well fun. I've said there's a video floating about of you with that. Did you like send it into the WhatsApp group or something? A punch machine? Yeah. Where from? There's a video of you like running, swinging another punch machine somewhere. Is there? Yeah. And like any time you were angry, you would send that video. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. I don't remember that at all. It's like if someone DM'd you asking for a spot at Lavery's, you just send in that video. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've got fucking yeah. dementia. Yeah, it was a video of you. I'll tell you what, you had some hope too. Some hope. Not in second class about that. No. And all the crack. Fuck all. I'm back in the house. I'm absolutely erect about it. New kitchen? Yeah. I got the view in person. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? It's, um, it's like P. Daddy's kitchen. It's like P. Daddy's kitchen. There's fucking kids chain the radiators and all. <laughs> You got a drawer just for noodles? Well, that's that. That was. I don't know. I didn't like. Bake, no, I. I, I didn't bake that into the design you proposal. But like, it's literally. I don't care about running water. I don't care about a fridge as long as there's a drawer that has ramen in it. Gold taps and all. Gold taps, yeah. This is none of my. Young money, it? fresh money. Yeah, yeah. Done. Yeah. This is all Maureen's uh, decisions, and then I just have to slave away in the background, pay for it. <laughs> but I'm for a gold tap. 
I did put the foot down and go. But did you see it? It's got hot water. It's got filtered water. Oh, I seen it. That was in spec. I don't know how to use it. It's got a I fucking, did two laps of it. It's got a fucking Rubik's cube to get it working. <laughs> She's like, hold it down for three seconds, turn it to the right, pop it up, turn this, put in this coat, and it'll give you cold water. Yeah. And I'm like, wow. The cooker as well? It's a mile long. The cooker's a mile long? Oh, my. That's a standard range size. They're all the same oh, size. No. Not They're all the same size. Not in my gaff. It hasn't been on, this cooker. I don't know how to work it. How is it having like that first morning cup of joe in the new kitchen? Oh, it's nice. That, that felt nice. No, it, it was nearly all worth it for... Uh, Maureen to be sitting with Eddie on a wee couch the other day and I brought the TV down from the garage which is on a stand mm -hmm. wheeled it over this, uh, I use it for Eddie in the you know because there's no natural place for a settee up there so I just put the TV in the corner and then when he's ready I wheel it over and be like you watch that for a minute while your dad does some business yeah. um, <laughs> but yeah, wheel, yeah I wheeled it over they were sitting there some was coming through the big the big doors God Leave it in. We'll fix that in post. <laughs> uh, and uh, she goes, she goes. This is all I ever wanted, just to be sitting here chilling on a Sunday. That's lovely. Watching thing, and I was like, sweet. I'm going to <laughs> fucking. <laughs> I'm going to Dundalk to wash my face with shit. <laughs> Enjoy it. I'm way to rub someone else's rusty stink Imagine around my face. I actually had to rub your face for that day. You didn't ever came back from that. I'd have burnt my you face off. <laughs> I could actually see you right now if, if you actually did wipe your face with the rust shake uh, face cloth. You'd have just cancelled there and there. You'd be like, oh, where, yeah. where I go? Oh, yeah. Because you start to panic. You start to be like, did I touch that? Is that my mouth? Have I got like fucking <laughs> some sort of new strain of something? Am I going to be shitting live on TV? You know, nah, you wouldn't get a strain off a shite face cloth. No. The, no, no you wouldn't. sure. Faces hasn't caused, you know... No, Huge but it, diseases no, before. I've been like, lying there for a while. Like, yeah, you've been dramatic now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> old shit. <shape. You, laughs> <laughs> imagine, imagine. You know, people are into that. People are into you know, shit in the face club. No, not specifically, but you know, <laughs> bit of scat play. Yeah. Do you reckon someone else would have checked in there and just been like, <laughs> yeah, bingo. <laughs> yeah, I've struck gold. I've struck, gold. struck brown. <laughs> I've struck fucking copper. <laughs> <laughs> You should do a picture of it. I'm so interested in the color profile. I, I, I know, but I was so fucking like, ah, uh, I was so like, <laughs> I, no, no, I, had no, I had no time. To I couldn't think or speak or move. I was just like, ah, is it all? And then I fucking checking myself. It was gross. I would love it if it was one of those private hotels that like puts on a webcam in every room, you know, just to see your reaction to the shit <laughs> face club. <laughs> I just, I'm genuinely curious as to what you like actually did in the moment. Just a lot of, you know, dry swallows. What'd you face like? <laughs> <laughs> did you give her there? I, I, I swore a lot. Did oh, you? I was like, oh fuck me. Yeah. Oh fuck it <laughs> out. Oh what? There's like God knows what they were here next door. You went full Benedict so low. Yeah. <laughs> oh fuck me. What the fuck is that? Oh fucking shit, man. Just me. my look. <laughs> Just my look. <laughs> fucking foreigners. <laughs> 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 what do I say though? Someone made the biscuits and the tea and coffee making facilities. Once I got over the shite and I don't know, you know, I didn't really turn the lights on properly in the whole place because when we checked in. But like the next morning, I was like, bro, there's like fucking, there's like a hundred biscuits here. I don't think I got any biscuits. There was like seven packets of biscuits. Maybe they purposefully did that to like remove this thing from the shite cloth. Like from a lot of biscuits would be alright. Yeah, but how would they know? How would they know? <laughs> Unless it was staff. It's true. <laughs> you know? What biscuits did you have? Did you have a biscuit? No, I didn't have any. You just observed them? Yeah, I just observed the biscuits. And went, That's nice. Probably <laughs> full of shit. <laughs> Bourbon and shit. <laughs> Custard cream. Now that would be funny. An ass. <laughs> that would be funny. If, you you have someone, up a if someone just opened the biscuits, <laughs> cracked the bourbon in half, right up the stink, and then back together and back in the packet. I mean, if you're going to disguise a shit in the biscuit, the bourbon's number one. Like, yeah. You know? I mean, hotels are rotten. Like, Yeah, they are. Rotten. They really are. You know, everybody tramping in out of the street, walking through whatever, into the room, spaffing and shitting all over the place. <laughs> this happened in the morning or the night, I forget. At night? At I, night? I thought I would get, I thought I would get like fully ready. Oh God. You know, I was like, I'm going to shave my head, get, get showered, get all that shit, get all my clothes lying out, pack again. Like pack, literally pack and just throw a fucking t-shirt in it. You probably couldn't even pull your wire after that, could you? Ah, well, I wasn't that annoyed. <laughs> Shut up, 
God, shut up, bitch. Quote, unquote, I can't wait to get in here and have a multi-top wank. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Multi-top. Yeah. Two eyes going in different directions <laughs> like a chameleon. <laughs> I have to do something to take my mind off uh, the scat great. cloth. Yeah, you gotta spaff yourself back. <laughs> you have to spaff that memory. <laughs> spaff yourself back to reality. <laughs> have a mindful spaff. <laughs> Very present. And I had no respect at that point. I was like in the kettle. Oh, yeah. Ah. Yeah. yeah, it's going on the curtains. Fuck definitely. the word. Bear men. Bear men. Bear men on the curtains. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't on the ground floor. Yeah, I, I never. I never think about... Like, you know, hotels like that until something like that happens. Yeah, they're rotten. My cloth could have had shit too, for all of them. Yeah. I, I was just born for it, like, yeah. you know? I, 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 like, I would ne I would have no use for a face cloth mm. at all, other than I was going to just wipe the countertop out of courtesy. I was going to clean up my mess. Yeah, you were going to do that, my solid. Yeah, because there was fucking face pubes and everything in it. Yeah, I got, a, I got a fucking morning call too, you know? Yeah, he was like, he asked for the, the wake up call. Yeah, I had to get a wake up call because the speaker, my phone's fucked and I forgot my alarm clock. This is, oh. that is you all over, man. What? Get a new phone. No, I can't say fucking 250 pounds. 250? Yeah. 1250 for a new phone? No, to replace the speaker. Just get a new phone? No, I don't have the money for that right now. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm moving continent. Really? <laughs> I need to save me coins. Sell three of them thousand pound jackets you bought? No! Yeah! <laughs> no! No! When I'm homeless in New York, I gotta be dripped out. That good North Face jacket. Oh, I'm never selling that. Oh, that's pretty swag. That was a, what are they called in the streetwear community? A grail? Those are my grails. A grail jacket? Yeah. Oh, nice. One I've wanted for a while, finally got it. Well. Decent price, too. Shout out to eBay. Shout Much? Panda buy. Panda buy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I, North Face with an S. Yeah, and uh, South Face. South Face. <laughs> How much was the jacket? Uh, Under and Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I thought that was all right. How much was the jacket one? For something I really wanted. How much was the Le Fleur's one? It was a wee bit there. That was a wee bit there. How much? Worth it. Two fifty. Lies. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Come on. No, Four thousand Patreon. Go tell. No, I didn't, it wasn't Patreon money either. Okay. Don't matter. It was actually vape shop money. <laughs> if you must know. I had to you sell stroll, you stroll a past? lot of strawberry kiwis to get that thing. Do you, you stroll, stroll past the window every once in a while? Now you don't work anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Nordic spirit. Oh. I did need to get a haircut to keep me into going to my barber's hospital appointments. But I just never... So I was at a little bit longer. And you've got your phone on this uh, fucking idiot mode now that you can't go on the internet. Yeah, a, social media blocker. Gonna, social media blocker. Yeah. Which is, you know, I said to him, you know, check bus times there, and he goes, uh, he goes, oh, I can't, my Google's blocked. That's not social media. No, Safari. Cause that's you, general. Yeah, but if you block apps, then you can just go on the desktop version through Safari. So that's be blocked as well. But Google seems not, not so much like a social media time wasting up as in just like a convenience, need to go about my day type app. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. But what does your phone do? With the lock on, nothing. Or can you make a call? No, I can make a call. Can you text? Yep. Okay. I can WhatsApp. Okay. You know everything a phone used to. Do. Yeah. But you just can't Google anything. No. Oh fuck, that's a nightmare. But luckily, I've got friends in high places. Yeah. They pull it this far. Yeah. <laughs> do me a solid, man. Let me Google. Go and go on Journey Planner there. <laughs> Please. Go on eBay there and get some jackets. <laughs> I can't, man. I'm jonesing. <laughs> jonesing for a jacket. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is a rare occasion for me. What? Buying clothes? No, I'm not. Uh, no, the, the jackets are swag. I don't want to. Not. Shut up! I'm only messing. Appreciate it. Yeah. It's the jacket's class. Sorry, I'm too sad. I was deep and getting defense. I know, he's getting fucking away. He'd be crying in a minute. <laughs> it's self love. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It fucking is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you not think the 700 pairs of shoes in my house isn't a disease? Yeah, there's something going on there. <laughs> No, there was I'll, go, I'll go like, oh man, look how much I have to do today. <laughs> Don't really take the edge off this. Expect a pair of Nikes. Yeah, man, I don't know that. You could definitely delete that by having a wank. Well, I'll do that too. You know, yeah. like, no, I'm, I'm no, I'm not, I can't buy more shoes. I'll have a wank. <laughs> oh, I feel, I feel relaxed in the mood to you need buy something. shoes. Oh, dear. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm so stressed. No one fixes three hats. Yeah. <laughs> you should have a wank before making decisions like that. You should have a wank before parting ways with PayPal. You know? <laughs> Do you really want it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting into the, the territory of I'm going to have to look up storage for hats now. What? You know, like a, the best the best way to store hats. How many hats do you have? A lot. How many at ballpark? It's not more than the shoes. Oh, that, yeah, probably is. No, no, there's no way. I think so. There's no human way. I pro- If I counted up the hats, it's probably like... It's probably like under 200. But I mean, I mean, I have a lot of hats in the bank for years. Like, well, you sent me the picture of the time Maureen made you clear out your shoe collection. Yeah, and she like shame lined them up. Yeah, in front of you. Yeah, and you sent me a picture, and I was like, "Holy shit, bro!" Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of shoes. It's like the whole hallway. I fell my garage. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean? Like you said, you got to be into something. You have to be honest. Here, you could spell them if, if I if I lined up every you know eighty pound fucking witchcraft face cream she has. <laughs> I'll fill your garage too. Everyone has something. And she'd talk you, she'd tell you why it's useful. She'd yeah. be like, this one's made out of fetus embryos or something that gives you like new eyelashes. Well, you take that. Yeah. The Brazilian bomb bomb cream, you know, you know it's, it's all that shit. Yeah, everyone has something that they like to spell. Whenever I got the jacket, I was kind of having post purchase clarity on it. I was mm. like, do I really need this? This is kind of. And then my man goes, I'm ah, sure if you were gambling and smoking it, she'd be gone in no time. You know, she's right. Yeah. There you go. I see what happens when you quit the vapes. New jackets. <laughs> New jackets. You could have smoked that up the wall. I actually did think about that the other day because I was very close to relapsing in Dundalk. Yeah. And uh, was like looking at the price of vapes. And I was like, Bro, I forget these are six fifty a pop. Yeah. And I was buying one a day. Like, mm. it's fucked up. No wonder I can afford jackets. Yeah. How much is a pack of Like 15? 15, 15 yeah. quid. Like. Yeah, it's crazy. Jesus. How long does the pack last you do? Shocking. Wild. Shocking behavior. If anything, like if your electric was 15 pounds, you know, you'd be like, Jesus, gotta cut back. Yeah. But you gotta get them bangs in there. Oh, you gotta chief. A fag. Yeah. You gotta chief. What did they say in that episode of Blue Lights? Right. <laughs> no, the, the whenever whenever he goes into Dave Elliott, shout out Dave Elliott on Blue Lights. Oh, he's great. Playing a big baldy crazy paramilitary, which is method for him. <coughs> shout out to Dave. Uh, sympathy fag. Sympathy fag. Aye. He goes in. He goes holding it like a real actor. Take that, big man. Dave's like fuck. I know, right? <laughs> and she's and he's he gets in the car. He's like, I don't even smoke. I tricked him in that. These are sympathy fags. What's a sympathy fag? He just carries them in case he needs to neutralize the scenario. Oh, okay. He's like, like put the guns down! Smoke a fag! And then oh. everyone goes, oh, sorry, I'm being silly. It neutralizes someone in a high dose state? Yeah. Okay. It's a, ho- it's a high dose neutralizer. Nice. So he's like, this is a high dose scenario. <laughs> this is a high dose scenario. Sympathy fags. Activate sympathy fags. A fag is a high dose neutralizer. Yeah. For most people. I would have liked this. Did Dave smoke it even in the scene? I don't think so. Oh, I can't remember. Be great to see Dave just be like, no, I think he did. Think he did. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It does great. bring you down of my dough, you know? That, yeah, that great bit in it where, uh, you know, the guy's, you know, all antsy and all. And the guy goes, do you know what you need? A ride. <laughs> Who says that? You need a ride. <laughs> it's the ride. Is she riding them? No. Okay. She's just his partner. Oh, like partner and cr- yeah, partner. That partner. 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 Yeah. You need a ride. And he goes, I do. And she's like, what about that dirty bit from Derry that you're supposed to be fucking <laughs> riding? And then he goes on a date with her. You never need a ride, though. Like, You need a bus. Need? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, you need to a jack. But, like, you don't need to have intercourse with someone ever. But, you know, you, you'll see someone, <clears throat> you know, maybe a bit light in their feet one day. And you'll be like, what happened to you? And they're like, got the ride. All right. <laughs> lighten got your, a ride. Lighten, lighten your feet in Tyrone just means gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what I mean. <laughs> Morning, boys. <laughs> what happened to you? Boys a bit light in his feet. Got the ride last night. Yeah. <laughs> got a ride. You do, you wake up like you're in a musical the next day. But you don't need it, like. You know. No, you don't need it. But then sometimes, sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm kind of like a, you know, there's probably like some sort of addict behavior in there with me. 
Oh, now we're peeling. Now we're peeling. Now we're peeling back. Where I'll be like, you know, it's not like that happened and that's going to do me. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, get the ride and be like, is this happening on the R every hour now? Or, or can I can I bank on that? Listen, Blur, I get it. You I know? Get it. I get it. And then it's like, no, of course not. It's the broad daylight with things to do. And I'd be like, fun, go buy some trainers. You know? Do you think we suffer <laughs> from, do you think we suffer from the same thing and that we can't do anything in half measures? Yeah. Like if we're drinking, we're drinking. Oh yeah. If we're vaping, we're buying one <laughs> last Mary a day. <laughs> I'm going I'm phoning the head the head office. The wines are multi tab. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can't just like we can't just have lunch at the Chinese. No, we gotta have lunch for you know like a Chinese. We have to have the server tell us. You know that's free mains. Yeah, that's Chinese New Year. Every time we go, <laughs> every time we go to the Chinese, it's Christmas Day for Jews. <laughs> Ordering so much. Yeah, we can't dip our toes in anything. No, we're full. You the, started boxing. You're like a fucking boxer now. We're the full clip gang. Full okay. tilt. Full tilt, bros. That's a YouTube channel. Yeah, all or now. That's what, that's what the channel's called. All or nothing. N E H I N. What's your favorite thing that went uh, nothing to all, real quick? How are you name it? I feel like the one that's stuck probably is like like watches and shoes, no? No, I never. I that's never, been evergreen. We got, a, we got an invite. We got an invite to Lunds. Oh, jewelers? Yep. Um, or Joe Dugan sent me a message. And he's with a guy. Can I play it? Yeah. Travis. Uh, we're in uh, London's here, and uh, Travis has a tasty offer for you. So, I was going to ask you on Patreon, come up to Belfast today, come to Queen's Arcade, try on a few Megas, try on a few Rolexes, we'll get you looked after. Frank McCann. Bring McCann. Bring McCann. But so funny if he was like, young Travis here has a tasty offer for you, and he goes, suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask on the Patreon boys if you were looking rimmed. I need a ride. <laughs> Couple of sympathy fags after. And a ride for both these. I love the way. There's no, by the way, there's no way you can, you know, like, look after someone in yeah. a luxury watch shop. Yeah, 100%. You, you can't go in and be like, fuck me, the bomb squad boys are here. What do you want? A GMT master? Get out of here. <laughs> Listen, I'm happy with a few free chicken tenders. You know what I mean? I don't need a Rolex. <laughs> <laughs> me, trying to, me trying to swindle a Rolex in the corner. Of <laughs> Just sauce up your face. I'll have the in lungs. I'm digging them. You'd be like, does Armin away? He's off shelf. <laughs> he wouldn't even get it. He, he, he doesn't even know what he's wearing. He wouldn't even know what he's wearing. <laughs> he's wearing. <laughs> Tie a piece of string around his hand. He doesn't, he doesn't know what the fuck. I can't even tell what time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I picked you with a happy meal <laughs> on a stone, like banging your feet together <laughs> on the wee abacus. Yeah, <laughs> kids' corner and lunch. They can't, they can't look at, they can't sort you out in a watch shop. They're not gonna give you anything. They're not gonna be like big fan of podcast, mate. Here's a fifteen grand watch. Yeah, I would have too much Catholic guilt for that, <clears throat> and I'm only half. But yeah. it would be activated if someone was like, "Here's a free it would Rolex, be on the half man." Wearing the watch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but then you'd have to you'd have to be like Ch- shout out to these boys for giving me this free watch that cost 20 grand oh god crucified and then people know you're walking around with a really expensive watch on yeah you want to be slightly a bit more like that watch you got me that's peak I don't, I don't think it'll get better than that yeah you liked it so much you just threw it in the sea didn't you? I did not throw it in the sea you I did. left it bed in Hawaii you went accidental Bronx yeah <laughs> left left my left my wrist watch in Hawaii yeah 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 <laughs> and my yeti Oh, not the Yeti. The Yeti on the watch. Tell her, is this ocean? Tell her mm-hmm. to put, wrap it in paper, put it in the Yeti. That's very smart. Close the Yeti, because that's pretty much bomb proof. Yeah. Uh, don't say bomb when you're posting it. And then put it in a box and send it. Probably more for, to post it than the value of the watch. Yeah, what would post it cost you from away? I don't know. Second class? Take like four months with it? I don't know. No. I don't know. Just one coffin ship heading over. We were watching it. Why was that? Me posted something. Oh, it's man. been a while since I've been in the post office. Oh, well, more you know, he says things like "take this back and leave this in" and never returned anything. A sauce and fucking all that shit. She, she's a big returner. Never return. No, I never return it. Even if it like you know, I just take the L. I just take the L, and then next time you're in my house, I'm like, "Them trousers fit you." And you just take them. I'm like John oh, socks. John socks with that. I'm wearing them right now. You weren't? The best trousers at home. Are they? Yeah. Wow. Why did you not like them out of curiosity? Uh, they were just very... Uh, I, th- I don't know. I think I think they were like... 
I was struggling to get them up over the thighs. And then once I got them on, I couldn't walk or move. Yeah. But then girls would tell you, like, oh, you get, you've certain, you've got like standing jeans, sitting jeans. Sorry? Yeah, I heard that. What's that? You know, there were jeans that look good, that are very uncomfortable, that they can't sit in. That's all my jeans. <laughs> yeah. All my jeans are sitting jeans. Yeah. Standing jeans. You, you can't sit in them. No, I sit in them. Every, every pair of jeans I have, right? I'll sit down, say, like, we go for a coffee and I sit down in jeans. The button, the top button, will leave a perfect pink and print on my belly. Yeah. Every, like, to yeah. the point where you can see what the fucking company the br- is. The brand is, yeah. It just, like, I've been branded by Jack and Jones. <laughs> <laughs> no, those trousers just, I put them on. I was like, man, if I threw one high kick in these, I'm busting my scrot clean. These are, these are gay pants, like. I didn't like them. They were too restrictive. The gay pants. You know, you bend over, full ass comes out. Yeah. Not even top of the crack, full ass. Well, my ass is always out. I can't solve that. I'd probably out in that interview. <laughs> it's <laughs> always out. Yeah, you can nearly see your ass. Yeah. On Ireland AM from the front. I do have a dumper on me too, like when you look at it. like I was offended when they went, oh, those shoes are real flashy to you. Because they were blue socks. And I, I was like, bro, these are Jordans, man. These are fresh out of the box. I put them on the car park like a dog. <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you, you can be late, but you're never too late to like not after, change your shoes. After Spaghetti Junction Gate, we roll into the car park, and I turn around. <laughs> you're taking the shoes off, socks on, the concrete, putting the Jordans on. Fuck yeah, bro. Also, this will this will only be funny to me, I think. But whenever we pull up to the Maldron, do you get ready? <laughs> Flex. <laughs> <laughs> Another action brand there. It was a stage where you opened the door and like whatever way everything was sitting, everything just fell out. Yeah. <laughs> and the fucking box of Jordans fell out and the Jordans came out and he just goes, Oh no, not the fresh Jordies. <laughs> 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 Fuck I shit. I, I might have made shit in the face cup after that. <laughs> I was reeling for that one. Uh, the, the, we were delirious at that point, like that was not great. the fresh J. <laughs> it was so and then we're heading in the Maldron. I, there was a video on my phone where I, I was filming you and I was like, don't say I never treat you. Yeah. It was Pete Diddy comedy. It was like, they don't treat you well here at the Maldron. <laughs> it was all right. Like, it was not bad. Okay, it does the job. Still like fucking 120 pound, like, but uh-huh. it does the job. Here, I've got a gripe. Uh, Let it out. What the fuck is happening at a, at a hotel check-in? Why can't I go, hello? Colin Geddes checking in and they go sweet there's your fucking key away you go every time you go Colin Geddes and they go right okay hmm <laughs> now Colin to be fair we walk past the self check right um, goes to the other computer yes uh, um, uh, and then back. What the fuck? Does the fucking interface change every three seconds or something? <laughs> Have you never done? Like, did, it's probably I feel big, like everyone I get at the hotel ju- big data s- started like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got a job five minutes ago. I've never seen this before. She was Asian. She wasn't? No, she wasn't. She was Blasian? I was trying to see if- <laughs> You think I was going to do the accent? You just did it there now? I didn't. I did it. You went a- accent? No, I did a, I did a vague accent there. <laughs> Do you want me to do your actual accent? Go ahead. I can't seem to find <laughs> where the room Mr. Geddes. But it's not just that. You know, it was, it's every hotel I've been in the last while. <laughs> yeah. fuck, you, say their, you say your name and they're just like, I don't know what, they're playing solitaire. And the fuck, they're like, <laughs> She's on Farmville. <laughs> I just imagine the other side of that screen is like the Matrix, just green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking code and flat all over it. I just don't know where to put you. <laughs> to be fair, we were going to go. They allocate, do they go like, right, here's the database, what rooms are filled, which ones are empty? And we filled them up throughout the day. I assume so, because otherwise they would have put us together. Probably. Yeah. Or at least same floor. Yeah. It probably was on the spot, yeah. Oh, fuck. If I had the hazard to guess how the Maldron operates, yeah. it might be an on the spot thing. I will send me to get his to the other side of the county. Yeah. <laughs> I was walking for you fuck. Were. And I was, you can back from the other side I was walking Pentagon. around and around. It was like the Pentagon. I was like, where the fuck am I? I probably could have got breakfast. I should have just went in with you. Move yeah. over. Shit in your yeah. fucking face cough. <laughs> I, I was, actually, I was in such a rage, I should have sh- done another shit somewhere. 
Yeah. Like in another part of the building? In the room? Yeah. Just a protest shit and a sympathy fag. Where's the most annoying place to shit? Door handle, probably. Can't get out. Just open the, crack the door enough, set my stuff outside, loaf into the hand. Yeah, that's the escape then, room for you. And then go, get out of here without touching. You just have to use the feet. No, I would definitely just grab a tile and use that. Soil a tile. You're better under pressure. Yeah. <laughs> you just used your brand new Yanni Dash shoes. Yeah, no, but like, oh, fuck it here. There's fucking shit in the room. <laughs> and then what did your man say? The, you, said, you were talking about it on the fucking, uh, on the show, but what, the Jambon guy? Oh yeah, so I was I was waiting in the lobby and on you to come down and there was this fucking guy from Belfast, very thick Belfast accent, and he was chatting to these two girls, I believe they were Italian. And they were like asking for recommendations of racial, what to do. Racial profile. And I assume so it was very and he was like asking like, you know, what they're here for and what they want to see. And uh, you know, they were chatting away, but I think they said at the stage they were foodies and he goes, he's giving them all these recommendations and he goes, Oh, I don't know our thing. Get a jam bun. <laughs> and then the girl was like, is, is there meat? And he goes, no, I think it's just cheese and pastry. That's a barefaced lie. And she's sitting there like, how you spell? Jam bun. <laughs> He's like, fuck the Guinness storehouse. Fuck everything. Fuck Colby and him. Fuck all them tours. Get a jam bun in the centre. Yeah. And head home, head back to the hotel. Do you think it is like a blissful feeling for someone visiting to have a jam bond for the first time? Or do you think it's very much like a sort of, oh, this is all right. Well, it's always just like, this is fine. Cause it's not a, you, there's no, there's no restaurant serving a jam bond. No, nah, you gotta go Santa Deli. But uh, I mean, there probably is somewhere in Dublin. They're like, try fucking, bro. The black pudding jam bond? The, nah, we're talking. Million pound idea. I was every week. Mark Solera, who's like a ex comedian turned DJ turned foodie. He was at this place the other day, and I had to send it to Woodsy and be like, "Are you writing bits for this motherfucker?" The guy was like, "Today we're in uh, such and such," and he goes, "This is one of the one of the best meals I've ever had here at the Misunderstood Heron." <laughs> And I said to the woods, I was like, are you, are you making up names for restaurants now? And he goes, ah, it's a good spot, but not as good as the disgruntled parking. <laughs> 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 and I bet you this place is banging and, you know, hopefully no one clips this and fucking slags us. But uh, they've settled on that. Like, I'm sure it's great. They've went like, you know, be banging. The misunderstood hero. <laughs> it's poetic. It's poetic. Yeah. You know? <laughs> We're talking about it right now. You know? We are. It's worked. <laughs> What would you call your restaurant? Uh, big feeds. Side. <laughs> side on the sides. <laughs> oh. A restaurant on the sides would be banging. I know, we talked about it before. There was a whole clip. You could only oh. order sides. Just sides. Tapas. That's all you need. Tapas. Yeah, but like real dirty tapas. Dirty tapas. Garlic like. cubes and all. Garlic cubes, yeah. <laughs> so dirty. What was your ma's quote about the Ritz? What'd you say? She goes, I thought the potatoes were a dip. Oh, I... Yes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they give her such a sting portion of fucking yeah, potatoes. They, yeah, they gave her spuds of a ramekin, and she was like, I thought it was like a dip, like a garlic mayo. <laughs> <laughs> it, was spuds. it was her portion of spuds. <clears throat> she just fucking went in there with one sausage, took the whole thing out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, they gave her a shot of curse pings. <laughs> <laughs> Ideal. Maureen told me she was on a uh, holiday, I think it was Jamaica, and she was in like a big buffet with loads of food. Oh. And she, she thought, she thought, uh, what was it? She thought this lump of stuff on the plate was um, avocado and it was wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was guacamole and it was actually wasabi. Wasabi on toast. And she just hoofed it in there, whole thing. That's it, bitch. Wasabi is rough if you get a real big old heap of it, like. No, oh, I like it. I like it. You do like it? I'm a big chiller with my mother. Excuse me? I'm a big jelly oil man now, though. Oh, when you're faded off the twas. I know. <laughs> He's out of date twas. Fuck me. <laughs> Maybe it was December 24 and 24th of December. I don't know. What a great t shirt. Just a quote. These out of date twas. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Please, can we sell out this merch? Your, your headstone. Just <laughs> arm the can. These out of date twas. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> What, what, what year were you born? That's something you'd overhear it said Benedict's. Uh, 1994. Then, uh, 94 till infinity. These twats are fucked. 
Right. We should get out of here, man. We have money Patreon today. Yeah, we do. Since you're faded off the twas. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Is that the name of the podcast? Faded off the twas. <laughs> or shit cloth. Can you say fuck me in a title? Shit cloth gate 2024. Oh, God. Just right. check your cloths. Check your cloth. Do, hold them up to the light like that. <laughs> See if anyone's yeah. wiped their stinking dot on it. <laughs> oh. Flakes in it. Before we go, what was the consistency of the shite like? Like, did it uh, look like a Picasso like, paint or was it like a one line? Or? You know, there was it was high fiber. High fiber? Like, I've changed a few nappies in my time, you know what I mean? Look like look like a guy had been eating bran flakes. Yeah. You know, but... Just a heap of brown flakes that morning, shedding the cloth that just, evening. Just like rusty and sort of fibrous. Diary of a madman. Absolutely disgusting. Anyway, guys, we're going to get out of here. I'm going to throw up a couple <laughs> of times. Uh, make sure you go to patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod to access 56 more absolute bangers. Thank you so much, guys. Cheers, guys. And also uh, get onto our Instagram and follow a link, if there is one, to the remaining tour dates. We're still on tour. We got the... The waterfront coming up on the 27th. Mm -hmm. It's going to be horny. Look out, man. It's going to be good. Oh, we took a while slagging for not wearing the Sopranos gear. I know. It literally was just a case of not being able to... Like we had, If we had have thought about it in advance and bought them, yeah. we wouldn't have had time to get changed into them. Yeah. It was a fucking shit show. But tell you what. Tell you what. We should wear the waterfront. I'll buy them right now. Right. I'll get them off... off uh, maybe to check ASOS. ASOS probably have a red tracksuit in the bar. velour tracksuit. We'll both wear them. Nice. Yeah. Be cosy too. Like. Maybe we'll be cool. sweaty. Probably sweaty. We'll be very sweaty. We'll be sweaty up there. But yeah, we'll see you next week, guys. Take care of yourselves. Look after yourselves, and, lads. Uh, just use swipe your arse from paper. Ah! Bruh. Ah! <laughs> Faded off the twice.